Hey y'all, Dave here with Big Day Days Collectibles. And today in my video, I have Panini Prism Draft Packs. I'm really excited about those. I can't wait to start opening those up. And then uh, I have this 80 cards of baseball. I got these from my local Rite Aid. Sometimes they stock their shelves with some cards for me. Sometimes they don't. Uh, they do know that I do have a channel. They do know that I ask, I, I ask them to get as many cards as they can. I said, I'll buy them so you don't have to worry. They'll never sit on your shelves, so... They try for me. I'm not going to bore you guys with this one. Um, this is a lot of cards and a lot of not so great cards. So I'm just going to rifle through it and, and show you the cards that I think are the best out of there. Then I will show you, though, the Panini Prisms. These are awesome cards. Couldn't believe those were there. I was very excited. Also, I have two Funko Pops in this box. And I also have another Funko Pop in this box. Now, these are both from Kohl's. All of them are from Kohl's. Uh, my wife used our Kohl's cash after uh, Black Friday, so we had some Kohl's cash, so she used them on Pops. I don't know what they are. I made it, told her I wanted it to be a mystery, so it's a mystery. Um, I also wanted to let you guys know that I did get a table finally. Woo! <laughs> um, and I did put all my stickers and uh, business cards on there. I only put the stuff on there since I've started this channel. I wanted to start the table like that. I didn't want anything older I had. So all the stickers that I've done that I've bought stuff off of or off of eBay or off of YouTube, any of the people I've messed around with on there, you're on here. I, I, I'm i going to give you a little show. I don't know I know how much use the camera work yet, you guys, so just bear with me. Then you got the nerd bar there. Uh, there was Beard of Pops. There's Boz Bullpen. There's some more. As you can see, I've got Radar Toys right down there. Uh, that one there, I can't remember. That's all oh, at CCC. It's uh, collectibles, cards, and clutter. Uh, but beard of barbarian right there. There's an Iron Man. There's uh, my noise and toys. Uh, that's a local record store that's here. Uh, once again, y'all, I'm very sorry about the camera stuff. I am new, I'm not positive on how <laughs> to do everything. And, okay, so, from my last video that I did, I opened up the Marvel Venomized box. Now, in the video, I know I did say I didn't know really much about it. I didn't know if I got to chase and stuff and whatnot. I did. I did hit the chase variations in all of them. I mean, awesome. Um, Mr. Fantastic, Venomized Mr. Fantastic is, is uh, metallic. He was metallic. He's right there. Uh, he was metallic. That was awesome. Uh, the Pop Pez uh, of uh, Silver Surfer was the metallic. It is the Chase. And so is the Venomized Galactic Galactus was also metallic. And so is my pen of Super Scroll. Now, this Super Scroll pen, I'll show you guys one more time. I love this pen. It This was very cool. Even though I didn't know who he was. But you see how he's got that glitter in there? That's what made him the different variation of it. I love him. I think he's cool. I am super, super geeked that we bought one of those boxes. I'm only mad because we didn't buy more. <laughs> uh, I wish I would have. But, like I said, I don't live in a big city. So, when I do go to a bigger town that has the game stops and all that stuff... It's pretty small, so it's not huge, huge. So I was kind of weary when I bought the box at first, because I'm like, eh, man, I'm only, you know, I'm probably gonna get the commons, you know, but whatever, I'm gonna do it anyway. I'll take a shot, and I didn't. I hit the variations. Very, very cool. I wish I had a chase sticker. It's my first chase pop. I don't have one with a chase sticker on it. Uh, man, my nose is. I'm sorry, all my nose just keeps running. Um, yeah, I don't have no chase. Pops at all. None. Uh, not with one sticker on there. I'm still waiting to get one. Like I said, it's for the hunt for me and not so much uh, just buying it outright. I don't want to do that. So I always get my phone ready here with the Funko app up on here. Oh, sorry. Okay, getting the Funko app loaded up on here. Let's dig in and let's do. The first box here. Let's do, let's see, should I do the one with two or do the one with the one? She said it's got three, and I can tell there's two in this one. 
All right, we'll just do the one with the one. Okay, and then we'll go to search over here so then I can search the Funko Pop and see how much it's worth. I know what we paid for it because I know how much cold cash we had, so. Okay. So, let's dig it into it. I am excited. Love my pops. Love my cards. So, <laughs> it, it, it's um, a love-hate relationship. And who do we have? Oh, sweet. See, I, I told her, I told her, I said, I want to start doing uh, more. I need more sports pops. I don't have enough sports pops. And so she went on there and looks like she got me the Steph Curry wearing the Bay jersey. I like that one a lot. And we all know Steph Curry is just flipping fantastic when he's not hurt. But the box is in really, really good shape considering the way they shipped it. <laughs> I mean, I do got a like, cut right there or something on it. Ugh. And a little blemish here in the corner. You can see. Yeah, see it? Ugh. I mean, would it hurt to put some bubble wrap in there? I mean, just in a box and letting it... I mean, no kidding, it's going to get banged up and whatnot. You know, I mean, I know they don't know nothing about that, but I mean, come on, man. I'm... Ugh. All right, I'll look it up on the Funko app. Okay, so Steph Curry here with um, wearing his yellow The Bay jersey. It's PPG is trending at $18. Very cool. Very, very cool. 18 bucks, I mean... No, I know we didn't pay and in a way. Well, I know how much we had, and it was uh, right around like forty-two dollars or something like that. So I know on Nicole's website, I'm sure that these pops are only going for like eight bucks, probably on there. I, I I'm not sure. Okay, so again, nothing. Oh man. Nothing wrapped up around them. We got Blake Griffin. Man, very cool. Well, I tell you what, when my wife gets home from work, she is getting a big hug from me. This is awesome. Very, very cool, man. Blake Griffin, Detroit Pistons. You know, I'm a Pistons fan. Anything Michigan, you know, except for college now. I know Notre Dame is just blowing my mind this year. I think this is our year. This is our chance. If we're going to do a national championship, this is the year. This is the year. This is the team. Ian Book is actually way better than I thought he was ever going to be. And uh, we've already beat Clemson once. we got to beat them again in the ACC championship game to get to the title game. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. They're giving them like a 63% chance, I think, is what it is to make the college football playoffs. Awesome, man. And we got Michael Jordan, Fanatics exclusive. Uh, looks like he's wearing his warm-up. That is freaking awesome. Very, very cool. I mean, what's your Funko Pop collection without Michael Jordan? Uh, I actually did buy the 10-inch Michael Jordan with the red jersey on, but, um, of course, my stepdaughter has that, so, because she's big into basketball, she plays in high school and stuff like that, and she's pretty good, actually, so, we got her to that one, well, I bought it, and then I was like, oh, well, uh, 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 uh. we'll give it to her, it's all right, though, you gotta share stuff, you know, with your family and your loved ones, right, and that's what they say. So, at least though, I have, come on now, at least I have the little one of Michael Jordan, though, in his warm-up, which 
I personally think is better. And I am just not being able to scan this. There we go. Blake Griffin is coming in at a PPG of $14. So that's awesome, man. 18 and 14? I mean, that's... That's flipping awesome. All right, one more here. We got the MJ. There we go. And he's MJ's coming in at 17. So, 17. And I'm not going to complain. Even if they're all 15 a piece, it's 30, it's $45. And I know it's a little more than that because this was 17. So we ended up with that have been what 47 instead. And then Blake Griffin was only at 14, I think, wasn't he? Uh 15. I think he was at 15, wasn't he? Now I can't remember y'all. And that is not good. I can't remember stuff. 14. So we had 17 here, then 14, and then wasn't Steph Curry 8? You know what? It doesn't matter, y'all. I did. That's really good. I did really awesome. I, either way, she did awesome. She picked them out, and she did it all herself. Thank you, baby. That is awesome. I, three random jo or, uh, basketball pops. I love it. I love every one of them. I think they're cool. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I think she did good. So like I said, I know what she paid for those. And I don't think she did bad. She did all right. So, right on. Not a bad haul, actually. From Kohl's, of all places, to get them three pops. Now, I didn't look at the condition on the two here that came. And actually, that one is mint. A little bit, a little bit of scratches on 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 uh, on the plastic window there, but not horrible. I looked at that one already. Yeah, it's this one. This Jordan one here is minty. Also, nice and near mint. All right, I'm not gonna complain. Then they still, like I said, they still could have packed those up better, way better. That at least throw some bubble wrap in there or something. I mean, or packing paper. Even? I mean, let me know what y'all think when you get stuff like that. I it, it irritates the hell out of me when I get Funko Pops in the mail and they don't package them right. I mean, I, I know there's no specific way you're supposed to, like there's no written law, but you would think at least put a little bit of bubble wrap around it or something to make it, you know. So, oh, anyway, so in these Panini ones, I'm sorry, I'm rambling about these still. But okay, so these Panini Prisms, Panini Prism draft picks, you would get three, you get a bonus pack. You have 15 cards inside. And you get a three card bonus pack. So this probably has 12 cards in it, I'm thinking. Or yeah, 12 cards in this. And then I got three in this. Now this is their red, white, and blue uh parallels uh in there. I know there's a word I was looking for, but I just drew a blank. So, all right, let's just get into the regular. Let's see what we got. Mellows, Wiseman's, Anthony Edwards. Because, well, I think Edwards was number one, wasn't he? Almost positive. Anthony Edwards was number one. I watched this even. Yes, I was right. Okay. And then Wiseman, then Ball. That's right. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So, we got right up on the top. We got Denny Olavija. This is uh, the one with Israel one in the background. This card is flipping sweet. I think this card is actually really sought out after because the Israel... Because he is a first round pick. Yep, there he is. He, he was the number nine pick by the Wizards. So, then we got Daniel Otura. Just his regular rookie card. Really cool. I love these Prism cards. These Prism cards are so flipping cool. 
Yeah, I don't think he went in the first round. No, he did not. So, that's okay. Then we get Cassius Winston. Michigan State. Very, very cool. I know I'm trying to get that glare off for y'all. Very sorry. Pretty sure Cassius here is also a second round pick. I don't think he's a first round pick. Yeah, so he's not in the first round. I've got the first round up on my phone here. Or my other phone, the first 30. So I am trying to figure it out here. We got Robert Woods, the second. Very cool prism card. Very cool. And Robert Woods here is... Uh, Second round picker, it looks like, or third, or whatever. But, don't. I mean, that's not to say that he ain't going to be good. I mean, he still could be. We're not, we're not ever going to know, I guess. You know, until the season starts. Oh, here we go. Then we got a James Wiseman. Rookie card. Number two pick. That's what I'm talking about. RJ Hampton, Crusade Green. Very, very sweet. And that is sweet. RJ Hampton. Now, is he... It's nice if he was a first rounder. So that way... Yes, he was in the first round by the Bucks, number 24th. Awesome. That's... Oh, I'm excited. Yes. Anthony Edwards. Green. Rookie. How cool, y'all. How cool. Very, very cool. Very cool. And, you know, I'll show you the back here. The cards look like. Now, this one's not. Yep, these are the ones that say prism on them. That means that they got, that's the, that's the prism card. That's awesome. That is awesome. Anthony Edwards. And then we got Zeke. Naji, Zeke Naji. Now Zeke Naji was in number twenty-two round, and number he picked number twenty-two by the Nuggets. So that's another first rounder. And then Peyton Pritchard. I know he was number one. I remember him? I remember him. Yep, number twenty-six by the Celtics. And we got Ashton Haggins. Very cool, man. And Ashton here. Well, it was not in the first round, so that's okay. And we got Ashton Higgins again. This must be his other one because they got, I think they got two variations of them, of each card. So that's cool. And then like a little short print run or something. I'm not sure. And then we have another a crusade here. And this is a Washington. This is Jaden McDaniels. Now I'm not sure if he is a first round pick or not. Yes, he is by the Lakers. And then he was traded to the Timberwolves after first being dealt to the Thunder. <laughs> And that dude had a lot of going arounds and rounds and rounds. All right. Oh, let's do our red, white, and blue pack here. And then I'll do my other pack of Panini. And then I'm going to save the uh, jumbo box there for the next video. I'll show you guys what I got out of it. The hits were running on 20 minutes already on this video. So I know I ramble and I'm sorry about that. Okay, so we have Denny Avdija, red, white, and blue rookie. Very awesome, and I'm pretty sure Denny here is a first round pick, and he is. He was number nine to the Wizards. I thought I already had that one, and then we got Therese Hal Hal Halliburton. Yeah, Therese Halliburton, red, white, and blue prism, and. 
Tyrese here, I'm pretty sure, is a first round pick also. Or he is not. Thought he was. I just thought I remember hearing him. Yep, he is. Number 12 by the King. See, I thought so. Okay, very cool. And this one is just awesome, y'all. I got the red, white, and blue LaMelo Ball Crusade card. How flippin' sweet. Very cool. LaMelo Ball, the number third pick in the draft. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. Oh, my God. To the Hornets. Yes, to the Hornets. That's... Okay, y'all, I am going to just take a quick second here. I'm sorry. And I am going to just take a sleeve him up real quick because that one might, I might send that in to get graded. Beautiful. Just beautiful. All right. Busting in the second one here. Let's get some more good luck like that. That was awesome. Mellow, red, white, and blue. Only thing will make this pack this pack even better is if maybe an Anthony Edwards red, white, and blue in there. But maybe just let me get a number, maybe or an autograph. Autograph would make this. I just I don't even care who it was. It make it awesome. Here we go, right off the rip to Anthony Edwards Crusade, right off the rip. Number one draft pick by the Minnesota Timberwolves, and I get his. Freaking Crusade, silver, whatever. It's probably the base only. Yeah, see, this is not the prism one. It's just the base, because they say prism on the bottom, actually, when you get a prism, like something like. Okay, how do I how do I show you guys this? Okay. Alright, see how there on the back of the card, how there's no prism on the bottom right where it says Panini? No prism. Now, when I show you this one, it's a crusade card too. But it's red, white, and blue. And see how it says prism? So that makes it a prism card. It makes it extra special, I should say. Okay, then we got Devin Vassell. From the Florida State Seminoles. And Devin Vassell here. Is a second round pick. So that's okay. Not a big deal. And we got another LaMelo ball. That's what I'm talking about. All the LaMelo balls I can get. Here we go. Here's an OB top. And nice. I like that. I was hoping I got an OB because I think he's actually going to be pretty decent. Uh, these people that come from Dayton, man, I mean, just they're fan. They, they end up being fantastic. Fantastic players. Uh, Aaron Neesmith. Uh, I'm pretty sure he went in the first round also. Pretty high, I'm almost sure, too. Not number 14 to the Celtics. So that's another awesome, awesome card. Here we go. Cole Anthony Green. That green prism. That's Oh, yeah, Cole Anthony. That's what I'm talking about. He went number 15 to the Magic. And I I like Cole Anthony. I think he's going to do good. I really do. And then we got Cassius Winston again. I got this card once. It's a second-round pick, I think, or third. Who knows? Uh, we got Patrick Williams. Florida State. That's a really cool card. I dig it. So Patrick here. Patrick Williams actually went number four to the Bulls. So I can't believe I don't remember that. Awesome. And then another Obi Toppin. So there's his other one. Flippin' sweet, dude. Get both Obi Toppins, both variations of his card. Awesome. Jaden McDaniels. 
I'm sure we've already gotten him before. I can't remember now because I'm all excited because I got really good ones today. Oh, man. Oh, dang it. Nope. Uh, okay, and then we got Sadiq Bay. And actually, um this dude went in the first round. I'm almost positive Sadiq here did. And he did. See, he went to the Nets. And he was officially traded to the Pistons after being after first being dealt to the Clippers. So Pistons picked him up. I almost just dropped him. But Pistons just picked him up, so. Can't complain with that. That's awesome. And then at the end here, we got the Crusade. We got Precious. Not even going to try to pronounce his last name. But Precious here is a first-round pick also. He was number 20 to the Heat. So from Memphis. Very, very cool. All right, y'all. Last thing we got here. And then uh, that's all I got for you today. So, man, well, I will... You know, there'll be more videos to come. You know, I'll never have to worry about that. I get new stuff every day. Okay, we got Kyra Lewis Jr. Red, white, and blue prism. Um, Then we got Cassia Stanley. Red, white, and blue prism. And we not get a crusade this time, red, white, and blue. But we got Devin Dotson. Red, white, and blue. So that's really crazy because usually you always get a crusade in there, a red, white, and blue crusade card, but that's all right. So let's see here. We got Cassius Stanley here. Is he a number one? Cassius Stanley is not. So we got Kyra Lewis Jr. He is number 13 to the Pelicans, so that is awesome. And Devin Dotson here. He is a second or third rounder also. So, all in all, though, very happy with Panini Prism drafts. Um... My better ones, I think, anyway, my better cards in this were the Cole Anthony Green is really, really nice. I really like that card a lot. A lot, a lot. Uh, uh, where is he? Here he is. This Lamelo Ball Crusades Red, White, and Blue is probably... This is fire. That card is fire. And the Obi Toppins were freaking sweet. Those are just amazing cards. And I also love the Anthony Edwards and the Precious card here. Again, I'm not going to try to pronounce his last name. I like those Crusade cards. I think they're really sweet. But all in all, very good. I mean, this is a stack of first-round picks along with all the other ones I just showed you. I'll be with that stack. So that was awesome. Very cool. Very cool packs. Very happy with that. Also, don't forget... I also got these three sports pops, basketball, and I opened basketball cards up. I thought it just fit and suited the, the theme, I guess. So, thank you all for watching. Um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, I hope I earned your subscription by the end of this video. Uh, give me a comment down below what you liked, what you didn't like, and what I can improve on. Or if you have any tips or anything, just give me a, a little little hand, you know, let me know. Uh, my eBay store will be down below, how to look me up and buy some stuff from me. Um, I also will have my email down below and my address down below. Do not have a P.O. box yet, y'all. Uh, I am going to work on that soon, but for right now, it's just my address. And um, hit that like button, y'all. Smash that. Smash that like button. Give me some love. Show me love. But, uh, yeah, that's all I have for y'all today. And I do have a table now, so if you want to send me stickers, I will put them on there. Or your business card, I will slap it on there. I want to fill her up, y'all. So, y'all know what time it is. You stay safe. 
You have fun. You keep collecting. Peace.